Hi, and welcome to Davis Sports Report, where we are continuing our coverage of the Olympics. While we watch these beautiful pictures of Team USA, I'd like to make a quick announcement. I'm a very positive person, but if you're a gymnast snob that has a low tolerance for any mistakes, are expecting a former professional gymnast that knows all the lingo and can break down every move, or you don't want to hear about any mistakes, then this might not be for you. But for everyone else, let's celebrate this fabulous win as lay watchers and discuss what happened today. Let's start with the vault, where three of the four gymnasts qualified. First up for the United States is Jordan Childs. Jordan had a difficulty score of 5.0, execution of 9.4, no penalties for a total score of 14.4. Great job, Jordan. Second up for the United States is Jade Carey. Jade had a difficulty score of 5.6, execution of 9.2, no penalties for a total score of 14.8. This was a great contribution to the U.S. total score. Third up for the United States is Simone Biles. Simone had a difficulty score of 5.6, execution of 9.3, no penalties for a total score of 14.9. Great job on the vaults for all of the participants. The next event was the uneven bar, where there were also three of the four U.S. gymnasts qualified. First up for the United States is Jordan Childs with a difficulty score of 6.0. Execution of 8.366, no penalties for a total score of 14.366. Second up for the United States is Simone Biles with a difficulty score of 6.2. Execution of 8.2, no penalties for a total score of 14.4. And third up for the United States was Suni Lee. Suni did have a couple of minor mistakes on her uneven bar routine, but she recovered quickly and stayed the course. Lee had a difficulty score of 6.3, execution of 8.266, no penalties for a total score of 14.566. So even with the mistake, she still came out with the highest score for the US. Job well done, Suni. The next event is the balance beam. First up for the United States is Jordan Childs, who had a slip up right off the bat, but boy did she come back and finish like a pro. Jordan had a difficulty score of 5.6, execution of 7.133, no penalties for a total score of 12.733. This I'm sure isn't what she wanted, but it did not impact the overall score too drastically. Second up for the United States is Suni Lee. Suni had a fabulous routine and my heart was pounding as I watched, especially after the slip by Jordan. Suni ended with a difficulty of 6.4, execution of 8.2, no penalties for a total score of 14.6. Way to go, Suni. Third up for the United States was Simone Biles, who seriously had me biting my nails as she nearly fell from the beam and was able to balance herself and remain on the bar. Simone ended with a difficulty score of 6.4, an execution of 7.966, no penalty for a total score of 14.366. Great job. And the last and most anticipated event for Team USA was the floor routine, where the United States again had three of four gymnasts participating. 
First up was Suni Lee in Don't Tell Anyone, but I had tears in my eyes at how graceful and passionate her routine was. Suni had a difficulty score of 5.4, execution of 8.133, no penalties for a total score of 13.533. Second was Jordan Childs who brought all the sass we expected while swaying to the beat and landing those flips flawlessly. Jordan had a difficulty level of 5.8, execution of 8.1666, no penalties for a total score of 13.966, which I personally think she was cheated, but that's just me. Third and last was the woman we were all waiting for, Superwoman Simone Biles, who had one mistake when she stepped on the line after her first flip pass, but as expected, she didn't miss a beat the rest of her routine. Simone had a difficulty score of 6.8, execution of 8.066, a negative 0.2 penalty for a total score of 14.666. You really can't beat that. The combined score was 171.296, which created a gap of 5.802 over Italy, who won the silver. The meaning of superior is high in rank, status, or quality, and these women fit that description to a T. We had Jade Carey, who won a gold in the 2020 Tokyo in the floor routine event, and there were very high expectations for her this year, but she was battling an illness Sunday during the qualifying event, leading her to fall in her floor routine and not perform at her full capacity and only advancing in the vault event. During the final event on Tuesday, Jade came back with a fighting spirit during her vault performance and contributed in a big way to Team USA securing that gold. Then there is Suni Lee, who had to walk away from gymnastics for a while after being diagnosed with two forms of incurable kidney disease in 2023. Lee stated on the Today Show, and I quote, it was just an incredibly hard journey. And there were so many times where I thought about quitting and just giving up because I was so sick and it was just so hard to stay motivated, watching everyone get better. And I'm just like, I can't even get back into the gym and constantly doubting myself. During this time, Lee gained 40 pounds and stated that swelling began in her ankles and she originally thought it was an allergic reaction, later to be informed of her new reality, resulting her stepping away from her collegiate career at Auburn University early and not getting clearance to practice for the Olympic Games for a while in 2023. We are overjoyed to see Suni Lee doing well and performing at such a high capacity during the Paris Olympics. What an extraordinary story. And lastly is Simone Biles, who we may all remember withdrew in the 2022 Tokyo Olympics due to what was referred to as the twisties. This shocked not only gymnastics fans, but the entire world. She later stated that she wanted to work on her mental health, and while some criticized her, the majority sent prayers and well wishes. The United States ultimately won the silver that year, and we are so happy to have Simone back, appearing healthy in every way, and totally demolishing her competition as only Simone can do. She is now the most decorated Olympic gymnast in the United States history with eight medals, and the games aren't over yet. We will be rooting for Simone to continue her greatness and shattering records. Individual events will be Thursday, August 1st, and both Simone Biles and Suni Lee will be participating. We wish both of you ladies the best of luck and we will be watching and cheering from home. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what your favorite moment was from the 2024 Paris Olympics. We will see you back here really soon. Goodbye.